So Anastasia showed me this game and the rules are very simple. You look at the Google Street View and you try to guess where that was taken from. You might expect the capital would have that. It's, it's, it's a nice park. You just, you exited the park. You shouldn't have exited the park in the first place. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. That's our best guess yet. We played it a little bit and it's pretty addicting. Are you ready, Anna? <laughs> yeah. We'll see how it goes. I believe in you. All right. Well, this is definitely some kind of a rural area. I mean, this gives it away. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Pretty easy. So that's French. It could be in Russia. Look at those roads. Anna just compared Quebec to Russia. <laughs> there are definitely some commonalities. Northern Quebec? Yeah. Sure. I would do like <clears throat> this. Uh huh. That was Quebec City. Uh, okay. We were wrong by 275 kilometers. Not bad. See, I didn't even notice French language. Okay. I think this is southern Ontario. It kind of looks like the place where we went last summer. Yeah, because I can see some cornfields or something near Here. Port Dover. Yeah. One side of the road doesn't look like a lake per se, but let's try. So what's what's special about this area again? Uh, it has uh, unique biodiversity. All right, so let's give it a try and see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like half the country. Okay, well, Saskatchewan. Is it too late to say that I had a feeling that that could be Saskatchewan? Well, now you and I have been to Saskatchewan. Yay! All right, next. I can keep saying south of Ontario and sooner or later we will hit south of Ontario, but this does look like south of Ontario. Uh, but it's flat again, so it could be Manitoba in summer. So there's one special thing about Quebec. They don't put the license plate on the front of the mm -hmm. car, uh, whereas Ontario and other provinces do. So here I see a truck that doesn't have a frontal license plate. But which, maybe that's because it's driving from Quebec. But that means it's probably driving somewhere nearby Quebec. So it could very well be Ontario. You can keep moving until you hit the yeah. big city or something. <laughs> and then it's yeah. easy peasy. Those would... are some kind of farmlands, so it could be south yeah. of Ontario. Okay. Let's, uh, let's make it south of Ontario. Right here? London? Um, sure, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. That's our best guess yet. Best guess, 96 kilometers apart. Here we go, we're getting better. Okay, this is uh, some sort of a rural area. It feels northern. Like, it doesn't feel like Ontario. I don't think I've ever seen red roads in Ontario. I don't know if that's... Ah, good point. I've seen red roads, red color of asphalt in Newfoundland, actually. Oh. So what do you think? What's our vote? You know what? I would just say London, Ontario. I don't know, it, it gives me the vibe of London. I've been there multiple times. City of trees. I feel like it's it's more northern than that. <laughs> How far off am I? <laughs> I mean, I was right that it's northern. <laughs> Across the whole country. Yeah. But there are no mountains on the horizon. It's but tough. The trees, the trees were kind of giving it away because they were like Nordic Short, trees. Yeah. And more like fir trees. You're right. Next. So many fields. Why is Canada so many plains? Yeah, but that's the main hint. If you have lots of farmlands, it must be south of Ontario because that's where all the farming is happening. Does it? Look, look over there. This red. Aha! Uh -huh. Some kind of crops were here. Hold on. Can you read This it? is Quebec. It has French signs. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, let's make it somewhere around... Montreal? Know, here, Sherbrooke? Okay. Sure. How far off the RV? We should have known. Boustouche. Bouctouche. That's, that's the place. That was the place on the signs. Ah. Should have known. Okay, well, this looks like a... This is a nice neighborhood. It could be any neighborhood in Canada. You know what? This is a very hard game. <laughs> I'm starting to realize. I don't see any mountains on the horizon. Tall trees, so it's not some kind of northern territory. So what do you think? I don't know. I feel like it could really be any place, but let's, let's make it Ontario. Shall we try? Sure, let's try Alberta. Let's make Alberta. Well, it literally looks like it could be anywhere in Canada. Well, it's definitely not in Toronto, because the uh, front yard and backyard of those houses is huge. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh! Ooh. Nova, Nova Scotia. Scotia. I'm starting okay. to like Nova Scotia. Halifax! Wow! Okay, so, so far we're pretty terrible at this game. 
Well, this looks poor. It's not poor, it's like under development still. Could this be um, more I see north? boats, so it's somewhere near water. Oh, nice one, smart. I don't see any trees though. Some kind of Atlantic province? PI I maybe? I think so. Yeah, look, there's uh, definitely some water somewhere um, here. It does look like one of the maritime provinces. I don't even know. Actually, it could, could be Newfoundland as well. Newfoundland, do you think so? Could I be. I mean, judging by the clouds, certainly could be. So you've been to Newfoundland. Uh, you know what I've noticed? Those houses are built on pillars, permafrost soil. So it could be some kind of Northern Territory as well. What about the cars? See how old the cars here are. They're not new cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's Northern Territory. It's somewhere up North. Mm -hmm. By the way, that foundation looks on each house and old cars. It means that okay. logistics are tough. I like this name, Happy Valley Goose Bay. I hope this is not the name of the city because the city does not look happy. Let's make it like Well, here. the goose is happy. Oh my God. Yeah, it's very up north. I mean, we were right. In yeah, that. it's Northwest Territories. Yeah, you are, you are good. In in a week, in a week. Oh my God, this is so far away. We are terrible at this game. Okay, some sun, some rivers, some mountains in the back. Artesia. Artesia. Okay, look at that train up there, Richmond, British Columbia. I, I had a sense it could be British Columbia, especially because we saw Aritzia. And that train, isn't that the sky train that they're proud of? You wanna give it a there try? There it is, yeah, yeah. I will say Richmond. Okay. Boom! Whoa! Look how close we are. Yeah, that's... but that sky train, that was a very nice hint. It's a very simple looking park. It's like a nice suburban area. Yeah, but see, it could be not too far from one of the towns. But since it's not as huge as Toronto, it looks like a suburbia. Oh, look, there is a church. There is an Orthodox church, I think. I feel like it must be around Toronto. I'm not sure, because that parking meter didn't look like something I would, I would recognize. What about Ottawa? Could it be Ottawa? Does this person look like an Ottawian? Does this person look like someone working for the government? I don't think it's Ottawa. I feel like Ottawa must look nicer because it's the capital. Look at all these uh, tracks in the road. I feel like your hopes and expectations are too high up for Ottawa. I mean, it's the capital. It should look clean. Sus Would be. Saskatchewan. Yeah, sure. Let's make it Saskatchewan. Somewhere here? Oh, it is Ottawa. <laughs> but boom. It is clean, but the roads are not super I nice. I thought better of Ottawa. Come on, Canada. It's the capital. Fix your roads. It's, it's, it's a nice park. You just, you exited the park. You shouldn't have exited <laughs> the park in the first place. This is a very nice, well-developed area with very nice um, Casino. Aha. Uh -huh. Could it be not far from Windsor then? I know where we are. You've Did been you see there? that? Did you see that? No, I think there is there is a clue. It says New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Moncton. Because that road looks very nice. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Eight kilometers accuracy. Yeah. She knows her Moncton. <laughs> I've never been there. Our challenge this time is try to get less than 300 kilometers. That's ambitious. Yes. This one right off the bat is somewhat of a bilingual place because you get pas de sortie here. So it's either New Brunswick or Quebec. No. Store. Do you have them in Quebec? Oh, look, downtown. Could it be Moncton? So New Brunswick is the only bilingual, officially bilingual province. Or it could be St. John. St. John, let's do St. John. Ottawa. Ah, it's actually in Ottawa. What? It's the second time we didn't recognize Ottawa. It's, Apologies. I... <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> this, but... This is not the Ottawa you've seen, right? <laughs> <laughs> there was a small street and it said downtown. That's Ottawa for you, I guess. Actually, one thing that I realized, Ottawa as a capital has all the signs duplicated in both languages. Yes. This is the second time we think it's New Brunswick, but it turns out to be Ottawa. So if you suddenly end up somewhere where you don't know where you are, if you see signs in both languages, <laughs> you're likely in Ottawa. <laughs> These are nice trees. Beautiful. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I see a school there. The nice houses, houses. 
They could very well be somewhere in Argentina. See, I heard that provinces like New Brunswick and Nova Scotia have very colorful houses to brighten the mood, you know, because they're so gloomy. Let's make it Nova Scotia then. Choose a bigger city. Halifax? Yeah, that's the biggest one. And we are very far off. <laughs> so All the way across Canada. Apparently it's this Richmond. This is Richmond. Well, it, it was a nice looking. I'm learning a lot of interesting things about Canada because the small cities turn out to be actually the bigger cities. I'm learning that a lot of residential areas look the same, exactly the same. Yes, a lot of Canada looks the same. Hmm. We're taking the train into nowhere again. This is not a very big highway per se. Oh, look at that uh, rocky area over there. It looks like Killarney Algonquin area. So Anna it's knows her rocks. Northern Ontario, I would say. I'll trust you Maybe on this one. <clears throat> try Thunder Bay. Not too rocky for Thunder Bay, but I mean, how far off are we? 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers, not bad. So it, it is in northern. It is northern North, North Ontario. Ontario. Yeah. If you need to tell where you are by looking at rocks, call Anna. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a school and there's a big hill. It's a nice area, I like yeah. it. Could it be some kind of um, facility for Olympic events or something? Those hills are a very prominent landmark. I would say it's somewhere around Calgary. Calgary suburbs. I feel like Calgary mountains would be a lot larger than that. It's something like Sudbury. Hmm. You were right. Yeah, those hills. You were right. But I would think the hills should be bigger. Yeah, but you need to drive for an hour for them to be bigger. Okay, okay I think this is Montreal. Um, the, those red brick buildings do give you a vibe of Montreal. And there's a flag. Yes. It's definitely, flag. it's definitely Montreal. Yes, yeah. is Montreal. You can go ahead and pick Montreal. It's either mm. Montreal or surroundings or... I'd even say more eastern side of Montreal. Like, okay. Like this. Whoa. Oh, west. Western Montreal. You were off by just 16 kilometers. This is the best result so far, this I think. Is, this is best. I know my Montreal. <laughs> just like Anna knows her rocks. She sure does, yeah. We had a similar one before. Do you think it's Northern Territories again? I would say so. What is that? Yeah, I, I can see that buildings. Now the question is, which Northern Territory is this? You get old cars again, and the, the vibe of those houses, it feels like it's the same city that we just saw. Yeah. And I think it was somewhere here, Yukon? Yeah, you can't go wrong. Just don't choose that rocky area. Go somewhere up north. Further up north? Sure. Where the permafrost is. Oh yeah, is. in a week. This yeah. is where... Oh, you're smart. Engineers. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, we're off just by six kilometers. Six kilometers. This is our best result so far. Oh my God. But honestly, I think that's because we already got a similar... Yeah, okay. We're becoming pros in Inuvik. In, uh, is that Yukon? Um, Northwest Territories. Northwest Territories. I kind of feel like I want to go there now. Yeah. And see it myself. Good job. This was fun. I yeah. liked it. I didn't like the fact that we didn't get many of them, right? It was... What's the word that I'm looking for? Humiliating. That's one word. It was also surprising how hard it was. Canada felt very similar. Unless you have very prominent landmarks or signs in different languages, tough to guess. So it's almost like you have to look for mountains, water, permafrost again, vegetation, road signs. Road That's signs help, especially if they're in French or English. The houses, I feel like with Yukon, we kind of learned to discern Northern Territory houses from the regular houses. And you could certainly tell yeah. a Montreal house from another yeah. house. I was about yeah. to say, you guessed that Montreal street very nicely. So what did we learn about Canada? Unfortunately, all residential areas look the same pretty much everywhere apart from Northern Territories or where you have mountains. 
but you can prove me wrong in the comments below. I was surprised to discover how Richmond looks like when I thought it would be somewhere in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and vice versa. It's hard to tell whether something is West Coast or an East Coast. That's one thing I've, I've learned. I've also learned that Ottawa is not as well maintained as I would have hoped. Good point. For capital, the roads were a little bit cracked. The uh, just the overall vibe of the city didn't feel like it was a capital. So that was one discovery for me. So if you like this video, let us know what you thought in the comments below. Or maybe there's some other signs that we should have looked for that we overlooked when trying to guess which province of Canada we're at. And uh, if you like this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is seemed like it would be a fun game to have. And we certainly should travel more and discover Canada. And if you decide to play this game, definitely let us know your results in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.